Hi everyone, Amelia here, writer of Chef's Widow. Um, I'm making this video today because in the past couple of months there has been an unbelievable, unbelievable amount of teen suicides um, as a result of gay bullying. And I, I can't, I, I am heartbroken. It, it has affected me. I, I wake up and I read about a young boy or I see a, a young boy's YouTube video and then later on find out he hung himself. I just, it's so heartbreaking to me. I, I can't help but feel affected by it. And I am making this video to tell all of you young kids out there that are being bullied, gay or straight, um, it does get better. And I actually had my own bully in high school. Um, I, growing up, I went to a super duper Catholic grade school with nuns and uniforms and um, I didn't really fit in there. I had a small group of friends and we kind of dubbed ourselves progressive or alternative. We liked rock music and uh, we didn't have perms or big bangs. We didn't have fake nails and our parents wouldn't let us wear makeup. So we didn't really fit in because um, that was what was sweet at the time. Um, so that kind of defined who I was going into high school. I, um, you know, was edgier or in my head I thought I was edgier or shit. Um, you know, I liked, I liked rock music. I went to shows. I um, wore combat boots and Converse and, and, and whatever. Um, the music I listened to really kind of defined my personality at the time. So going into ninth grade, all girls school, I uh, didn't live close to the school, so I didn't have a lot of friends going to the school. Um, there were a lot of cliques. There were a group of girls that had money and all lived close to each other. There, there were the sport girls. Um, you know, there, there were different areas of girls, and, and I found a couple friends that lived on my side of town and, and that were, um, we were all kind of different from each other, but we all connected very well. Um, there was this other girl and she was a loner. She was super duper duper rocker. She was progressive and she thought she was Kurt Cobain. Um, she wasn't. And she decided that her mission in life was to make my life a living hell. She was very mean to me. When I would walk down the hallways, she would scream, poser bitch. Um, she was awful. And... For two years it continued. She just everything she just she really went out of her way to make my life a living hell. She sucked so bad. Sorry. Um totally have a cold still. But for two years this continued and um eventually I kind of found a a group of friends who um made me take my mind off of, you know, her antagonism behavior and, and her bullying me basically um and but after that two years I still decided to transfer schools um my mom wanted me to go somewhere else and my parents were going through divorce and you know she didn't make it easy on me so I thought it would be a good idea and I never resolved it I never stood up to her um and I think it I, I think it enabled me to be a bully myself. Um, when I transferred to the public school, my friends were the were the it girls, and I became a mean girl. Um, and I was mean to this one girl in choir, man. And and I was just, you know, I look back on it, and and I'm so sad because she didn't deserve it. I mean, she didn't wear, you know, Calvin Klein jeans. Oh shit! I better make fun of you. Um, and, you know, I, I did exactly what my bully at the all-girls school did to me, to her. I didn't do it as bad, um, you know, but I still did it, and there's no excuse for it. Later on in my 20s, as I, as I kind of grew into who I, who I was supposed to be, um, I, I saw her at Target, and I went up to her, and I had Catcher, actually, who's a baby, and I said, you know, I, I'm sorry that I was an awful, awful person to you in high school. 
And she said thank you and smiled like, a, you know, rainbow had hit her in the face. I mean, she was like ecstatic. And I know that me saying sorry didn't make up for my actions, but um, I think she knew that it took it took a lot of a lot of me to go up to her and say something, you know, I think it would have been very easy for me to just see her and walk by and ignore, ignore all those, those, you know, hateful things I said to her. Um, but the point of this video is that it does get better. And I am here to tell you that two things. Number one, when we opened the restaurant, my bully walked on into the restaurant and let me tell you, it was phenomenal to have the restaurant and hold up the food and wine cover with John's picture on it and sh have my two beautiful kids and, and just feel so good about myself in front of her. And, you know, she, I, I don't know if she didn't remember that she was a mean, awful bitch to me for two years, but she um, was happy to see me and smiling and I, it was really a great day because, you know, I, I was strong and I felt good about myself and, and I didn't really give a shit, um, which I think 10th grade Amelia would have, would have been sad and, and regressed into that. But, um, so that's one thing. So it's awesome when you see your bully when you're older and you're more successful and sweeter than they are. Second thing, um, you know, being gay being straight, being progressive, being a lesbian, being the weird girl, being the boy with tattoos, being the odd man out, that is not who you are. It, 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 it's not, you know, I thought in high school, that's what defined me. I thought my clothes defined me. I thought what kind of music I listened to defined me, what kind of boys I dated defined me. That doesn't define you. Your sexuality doesn't define who you are inside, who you are inside you find out through every experience and every experience you go through painful or amazing beautiful or hurtful every 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 experience you go through molds you into the person that you are going to grow up in into and um i know it's really easy for me to say this because i'm way older than you and um and whatnot but this will pass. This bullying, I mean, obviously, you know, if you're in, in danger of getting hurt from someone, you know, you should always say something. and uh, You should always say something no matter what. But it, it will pass. High school will be over before you know it. And then you will go out into the world and you will be able to be who you are and um, make out with whoever you are and hold hands with who, whomever you want and 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 become the person you're meant to be. Um, you know, you just have to have to get there. You have to get over what is hurting you and what is painful right now and live and live each day to the fullest because someday every day is going to be so amazing and you're going to love it and you're going to be so glad that you stuck around to see it. It gets better.